hello my loves jasmine out 10 mystic at the crossroads hope you guys are doing well um in tonight's video we are going to dress a candle together and this particular as you can tell by the title of this video we are going to talk about sort of rebalancing harmonizing energy and doing a candle working with a very specific candle that can be used a couple of different ways primarily one to help you if you're struggling with making a decision kind of finding some clarity getting the answers to certain things um if you're kind of dealing with a lot of negativity that is preventing you from moving forward or making a decision whether that negativity is external or even just internal thoughts, feelings, emotions, um, or environment, then this is very effective. So what we're going to talk about is a candle color that I've never done before on my channel. I'm also going to show you guys how to dress this candle when we're done. So this is a gray color candle. It's very pretty. Gray candles, um, I don't see them a lot. They're not impossible to find, but they aren't usually at a lot of botanicas, at least from the places that I've been. It's rare. And when I do ever come across a gray candle, I will pick up a couple of them. So as we know, the color gray is a combination of black and white. And if you think about that color combination of the two opposite ends of the spectrum, joined together, you create gray, which equals balance and harmonizing energy. So gray is a fantastic color for neutralizing anything that's negative, for neutralizing or sort of rebalancing the energy in a situation, the energy within yourself, within your home if you are dealing with a person or a situation that you can't kind of just walk away from or get rid of you know you, you you got something going on at work you have something going on at home with spouse family um you have a roommate so you, and it's like there's a lot of negative energy maybe surrounding a situation something happened there was a quarrel these aren't really things you can just be like, okay, well, you know what? I'm just, I'm out of here. You may, you may have to continue living with the person, continue going to work, continue dealing with that situation. You want to bring harmony to it. This is very good. Um, gray candles are also great for when it comes to clearing out that brain fog and making decisions, um, getting answers to certain things. If you have a question to a big situation, problem, decision that you need to make and you're not sure what to do you're really going around and around in circles or you just need the answers to come to you to make it a little bit easier then working with a gray candle is very good for that um a lot of times when we are very anxious especially when you're dealing with the situation and you're just like worried you know what i mean um you're worried you don't know you're stressed or sometimes there can be just negative thoughts and emotions pertaining to things, negative self-talk and criticism. Um, and all of those can prevent us from making the necessary or even figuring out what the necessary right choice would be to get the results that we're looking for or to get ahead. So gray candles are fantastic for that. Gray candles can also be used for reversing, not, well, let me not say that. Gray candles can be used for reversing a situation, reversing a problem, reversing something. Now, reversing and return to sender are different. Gray candles as well can be used as a return to sender, but they're prepared differently. We're not going to get into all that in this video. Um, I have a, re a reversing return to sender video here on my YouTube channel, but that's also an option because they are a neutral candle. They're very versatile when it comes to that, but anything that you're trying to restore, rebalance, reharmonize, um, this is the candle that you want to use. So we're going to flip this camera around. We're going to take a quick peek at this one that I'm going to show you guys how to dress. The ingredients are super, super, super simple. Stuff you probably have or can get. And it's literally like a one, two, three. Very quick, very affordable, very effective. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have our little gray stick candle. Um, very, I personally like gray, so it's a very pretty color. As you can see, this isn't a very big candle. It's about a 
four inch candle or so. So this is very effective, especially if you're just trying to, again, come to a decision, gain some mental clarity, um, or just rebalance energy. Now, I will say if you are dealing with something that is a maybe a more challenging situation, um, then you might want to opt for one of the big, the big mamas here. Or if you are dealing with negativity in the home and you're trying to restore peace and balance to the energy in the home or to family, then you may want to opt for burning a seven day candle as that's going to push out a lot more energy into your environment. So what we're going to do here, you have many different ways that you can prepare this candle. You can inscribe on it your name and what the situation is that you want to rebalance. I like to work with sigils and symbols. Um, that's an option too, or you can simply dress the candle, speak your intention. If you're fairly good at sort of visualizing and being very clear in asking for what it is that you want, and then preparing your candle. So what I like to do, because I am very visual and I like working with symbolism, is I will take my little teeny tiny nail here and I will inscribe now, if you are into candle carving, and this is such a little candle, if this was a bigger candle, then I could use my carving tool. But this is, it's not really necessary and I couldn't find it anyway. If you like to candle carve, then this is something for you. Okay, so don't laugh at my drawing. What we have here, I did an arrow going both ways with the little equal sign in the middle. Um, for me, that, is sort of my sigil, my symbol for balance. Um, feel free to use this, you don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to inscribe on it, but I like to do that because I'm visual. Um, I could have probably, where's my little thingy at? Let's see, let me see if I can. Yeah, don't mind me, you guys. That's just me being a little extra, you know? Okay, so you've got your candle. What are we gonna be using here? So we're going to be, using some lime essential oil. Now, lime essential oil is just that. It is fantastic for neutralizing and restoring balance and harmony, as well as clearing out negative energy and things of that nature. Um, lime is can help promote positivity. So again, if you're kind of in a space where there's a lot of negative energy that could be affecting your ability to make a decision or sort of think and see clearly, then that is what Lyme does. Lyme also combats the feelings of being overwhelmed, chaotic energy, anxious racing mind thoughts and all that. So that is very appropriate for this particular candle color, pairing it with Lyme. The next thing we have here is some cedar wood essential oil. And cedar wood is used for purifying um, cleansing. So sorry, you guys, my cat is like going nuts. Um, for purifying, cleansing, removing negative energy. And that's what we want. When we're trying to restore balance into a space, we want to clear out what no longer is serving and bring in what and to attract in the energy that we want to bring in harmony. We have here some black salt and black salt removes, it clears, it banishes, it gets rid of. And so when there's chaotic energy, when we can't make decisions, when, um, when we're trying to gain clarity and answers and it seems like there may be a block or we're just trying to turn something around, then black salt is a very good option. And then we have some sugar. We have some white sugar. And if you think about it, if you notice how this is, this in itself is a contrast. We have salt and sugar, something sweet, something salty. The salt clears, the sugar attracts, and it brings things in very easily, very positively, and very sweetly. So you've got your salt and sugar. We're gonna dress our candle with our oil. You can roll your candle in your salt and sugar if you want to. Optional, you don't have to. Um, for this particular, I, I don't, but you can. Um, come on. Sorry, you guys, I'm just, the camera's a little far from where I'm sitting, so I'm trying to, like, do this where you guys can see. Yeah, my setup isn't that great tonight. Okay, so we've got the cedar wood. 
and we're gonna massage that into the candle. We're going to be focusing on what our intention is. You can be speaking over it, praying over it, visualizing, whatever works for you. No right or wrong way in this, um, as long as you are very clear on what it is that you want and setting that intention. Do the same thing with the lime oil. Massage that in. We've got that dressed here. I have to say, this actually smells really good. Okay, and now I always recommend take a few minutes, spend a few minutes just sort of focusing on what it is that you are hoping to achieve. Speak your intention, say your prayer, words of affirmation, whatever it is. That's again, what's great about working with a great color candle because it's so versatile in the way of what you can request that you're trying to rebalance and Oh, come on, I didn't have my matches. Usually I like to use matches. Um, be mindful too, when you do your wick, try not to get the wick super saturated in the essential oil because either A, it can prevent the wick from lighting or B, it can cause it to crackle and spark. And you don't want that to happen. You wanna be very mindful with fire safety. Allow this to burn down until it is finished. If you're using a candle this size, these burn down relatively quickly. Depending on the energy, they go for anywhere from about 30 minutes to an hour. And then when you're done, just simply throw it away. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Hopefully this helps give you guys a quick, easy, effective way of bringing some harmony, restoring balance, getting some clarity, getting some answers, removing negativity, and just helping you guys get ahead. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I do read everybody's question and comment. If you have a question or a video topic idea that you want me to do, leave that down as well. I may feature that in an upcoming video. Um, share this, please like this video. It helps the algorithm of my YouTube channel. Be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss the upcoming videos in this series. I'm a couple days behind, but we're still on track for our 31 Days of Magic. So I appreciate you guys. I love you so, so, so much. If you have any suggestions, anything I've missed, have you done this before? Where'd you do it before? Leave it down in the comment box. I love to read them. All right, you guys, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.